Hey everybody, what's going on? Demix Bones here. I'm here to bring us back some more Psychonauts. Last time we left off, we snuck in the camp. We went into the mind of a really fat guy who was in the war and who was really cool, but now he's not, and he's really annoying and loud and mean. He called me Slowy Joey. I will not let that go. Either way, after that, we went to this brain tumbler thing that looks like apparently a giant hairdryer to Raz here. And we did some stuff. So we're going to go talk to this guy again and see if that's actually... Nope, we're going to check and see what we actually have to do. Defeat that big monster I saw. Let's go back in there and do that. I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. What? Uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Bodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Cruller. Never in a million... I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent Cruller. See, he said it scares most kids off. How many has he actually brought down here that are apparently special? So, I don't feel as special as I used to anymore. Hey. Thank you, phone, for making a noise. Rapid transit system. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Cruller? Sure. Or somewhere else? Um... Go to my sanctuary. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. The chair is bouncy, apparently. Whoa. Hmm, you finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Fort Crawler, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. <laughs> that name's a little misleading. Sasha says I need to learn how to fight better. You wants to teach you advanced combat on your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouthful of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old dining helmet or something. I see. Mm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Oh, nothing, nothing. P prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. <clears throat> Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sash's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge, and you can side blast any way you want. Thanks. Side Sounds blast. awesome. Oh, no, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big-eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, nope. Sir. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes, well, well, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. It's bacon. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. Don't I we all? That stuff, but I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. <laughs> do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on, or I'll eat that right here. There's your baggie. All right, that I don't. Oh, one thing I need to do. Let us see. 
turn subs back on. And that should be it. So, funny thing about this game was when I first started it up for the first time, it went straight to the storyline cutscene. So I was like, okay, maybe this thing may not have a um, full-on menu. I was wrong. Once I backed out, then it was like, hey, here's a menu. It's actually very nice. You run around on a giant brain. And I was very disgruntled, so either way, I was able to redo the... What is this? Mental cobweb detangler. Oh. oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are. You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The dust distorts the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world. Hook it up to the loom and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side card. Oh. Sold in the company store for nominal fee, and <laughs> kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up and up, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental card and my side card, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yep, basically. Have fun. Oh god. Ford said that I can use this machine to turn pine needles into delicious taffy. I said it turns mental cobweb. Just testing your hearing. But you gotta buy a cobweb duster. Yeah, you. I don't hear you. Man, he's like a little fat. Back your head in, punk. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. There we go. Sweet. You just found a PSI challenge maker or marker. Every time you find one of these PSI cadet rate goes up, rank up enough and you'll get a new PSI power. Sweet. Cool, I'm at seven. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Turns out I had the menu and I was like, oh. So it was really weird. And I turned off subs so I can um, re record the intro because it screwed up first time around and it cut. And I seamlessly edited it like a pro. I got back. How do I get up there? I'm not going to worry about it right now. How do I get out of here is the bigger question. Oh, over here. See, things really need to tell me this stuff. Because if not... Take me back to what's-his-face's lab. Thank you, bro, my lady. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Okay, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Yeah. Well, my ass is covered. Huh. Are you sure you are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Yes. Are you going to pull me into your mind like the coach did? <laughs> no offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. Oh. It's kind of cool. Whoa. It's like something from the Welcome Matrix. To my mind. Huh. It's so empty. I mean, there's more here than meets the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control, and that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, I have a control. Your fears, Her. your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them, concentrate them, and release them. As therapy? No, <laughs> as firepower. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, it's so tacky. I can't look directly at it. <sighs> but I control those feelings. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And okay, the that's world cool. Is a better place. <laughs> well done, Raz. Oh, cool. This well is. Done, Raz. 
Excellent. A victory for good taste. Now you must <laughs> strive for precision when targeting. Say you were set upon by multiple attackers. But you need to dispense with them in a certain order. Eliminate these monsters in the proper sequence, and we can move on to the next lesson. Good. Again. Good. Again. Now then. What is that? Whoa. This what you saw in your vision? Um, no. Well, it sure seemed a lot bigger in my head. Ah, problems often seem larger in our heads than they really are. That's an important lesson to learn. But this is a sensor, an integral part of any sane person's mind. No. The sensors roam through your psyche, looking for thoughts that don't belong. Hallucinations, manias, waking dreams. The sensors hunt them down and censor them out. Why do they come after me? I'm not a mania. Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. You technically don't belong here. Yes, but I was attacked in my own head. Yes, well, the brain tumbler could be malfunctioning, or you could be insane. We'll I'll go with the latter. Later. For now, <laughs> blast it. Sweet. Take that, FCC. Oh, he's dead. That's the spirit. I killed it. It was just a thought I was having, and it's not dead. It has just returned to its basic form. Raw psychic energy. Go absorb it. It's good for your mental health. Love how all of this can be placed as somewhat of a pun slash reference to as you mental this energy, your anything. Mental health increases, but as you side blast, you expend your will to do damage. So be on the lookout for these small, dense clusters of raw psychic aggression. Absorb these as well to make sure you always have enough firepower. Now I'll leave the machine on for you, so you can practice. You have to blast 1,000 sensors to earn your marksmanship merit badge. Come back every day for practice, and you should have enough in as little as... three weeks. Three weeks? I only have a few days to earn all my merit badges and become a psychonaut. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice, slowly and carefully. Oh, man. Someone turn this up. This is probably a huge mistake on my part. Or I was supposed to do that. Boop. Uh-oh. Oh no. I didn't do it! What have you done? This is not control. This is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. Wasn't my fault. This looks so cool. I'm assuming I can walk on the other sides. Yup. Yeah. You can come back here, Arrowhead. Okay, I can only have 30. Rasput, see those valves? That is where the sensors are leaking out. Psy blast the valves to shut them down and get this area under control. Ow, you censored me! So that's his first loss. No, I'm a baby. No, I'm a mad dad. I think I'm a mad dad. I'm not really sure. I'm like really upset though. Oh no, I died. Oh no, my dad's sad. He's still sad. Now I'm sad. This is, that is actually very depressing. Sasha needs a hug.
Sweet. Rank 8. Two more. I fixed your emotional baggage, which is still a really bad pun. Got it. 